Welcome to the Crock-Pot channel where we do nothing but slow cooking all the time. Let me get out my co-host and we can get started on today's episode. Today I'm going to make some slow cooker jerk chicken. I'm going to start out by making the sauce. I have to mix all these things into uh, my blender. I've got soy sauce, vinegar, some vegetables, and spices. I'll post a link to the recipe uh, that I use, so if you guys want to try it out yourself, you can do that. Let's get started though. All right, the sauce is ready, so now I'm just gonna brown up the thighs on the frying pan. Then after that's done, uh, we can throw it all in the slow cooker. We're almost there, I just have to put the chicken, fly chicken flies, <laughs> skin side up. Uh, yeah, it's nice and crispy now. I'm at the Burstall Pass Trailhead today. It looks like it's kind of busy, but I'm going to try for a Commonwealth Peak if it looks safe to do. Uh, if not, I'm going to try for Snow Peak. But I got this set up on low and slow for eight hours. Uh, I got the timer set to, uh, to cut it off in case I don't get back in time. You can also do this on high for four hours if you want. The choice is yours. But I'm going to head out now and go hiking. That is Commonwealth Peak right there. So I'd have to go straight up that avalanche path and the sun's gonna be beating down on that slope so very unstable. I'm gonna say hard pass on that. I'm gonna head on to Snow Peak and see what it looks like. That's Snow Peak right there. I decided again, I'm gonna pass on that. Not my type, a little too sketchy. There's someone else back there, they're talking about doing it. So good luck to them. Too crazy for me though. I'm just gonna keep moseying along this way and see what I can find. I think I've made up my mind. I'm gonna head up there to uh, Burstall Pass Peak. I'll do that first. Then I'll come back down here and uh, I'll try for Zeke's Peak there in the middle. That's Mount Sir Douglas on the right. So I'll do a double whammy today, two small mountains. Then I can head back to the van through there. I'm officially standing on the summit of Burstall Pass Peak. It's a quick and easy one. Good view of Mount Assiniboine from up here though. Nice clear day. I'm gonna start heading back towards uh, Zeke's Peak now. Okay, I gotta get up that sketchy looking thing right there, then I'll be on my way. I got some new snowshoes though, they're actually pretty grippy. These are the MSR Lightnings, they seem to work pretty good. <sighs> Spent the whole paycheck there at Mac the other day, Foresty Forest was a big spender. I got a, a GoPro too, but I haven't been able to use it. The, the battery froze up within five minutes of being out here, the stupid thing. I thought these things were meant for winter activities. Alright, I 
I think that's enough for today. I'm happy with that. Smells really tasty in here. I can uh, really smell the jalapeno. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, my GoPro was working again. I had to plug it in for a few minutes to get it started up again. But I wasn't outside that long and it was completely pooched on me. Then uh, I took the battery out and I had it inside my hand for at least an hour. Just could never get it going again. So GoPro, good for indoor use only apparently. But uh, I really like the video quality. It looks a lot better than what my phone could do in here. Um, this is my phone. I've never been able to uh, show it before. And I use Alpine Quest to navigate. I wanted to show that today. But you can load your GPS tracks into it. And uh, it also shows a lot of the hiking trails too. So it makes hiking a lot uh, easier. Um, what else? Yeah, this uh, this light has burned out on me. I can't use that anymore. And this thing always flicks on and off. I don't know why. But I haven't had this thing for even a year and uh, I can't even use it anymore. So hopefully Max Air steps up to the plate and uh, helps me get that fixed. But uh, Mok Chu, I'm going to get started on that now. Um, it's kind of a vegetable dish. In my case, it's going to be mostly corn, I think. Uh, there's some peppers in there, onion, Cajun seasoning. Um, you're supposed to use heavy cream, but I can only find uh, whipping cream, so hopefully this works. And uh, you're supposed to use bacon, but I just have this leftover uh, pepperoni from when I did that deep dish pizza way back when. But this stuff lasts forever. It's just embalmed with uh, the nitrates, so it never goes bad, but uh, it's gluten-free, so that's good. So while this cools down, I'm going to get into this chicken. I've been waiting so long. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to eat all four of them, but I'm probably going to go for it, man. This is <laughs> really happy with how this turned out. It's an interesting combination of spices, and it's just so tender and juicy. Yeah, another hit with the slow cooker. The mok chu is really tasty as well. I'm not too sure if you guys cared about that or not. This is the Crock-Pot channel after all. But I think I could probably spend the night here. I don't think anyone will bother me. But uh, my battery is just about dead. So I'm going to have to do some driving to help charge that back up. So I'll probably head back into town to spend the night. But uh, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, thanks to everyone on Patreon for help making this happen. And I'll see you in the next episode. Sleep tight, foresty forest. Jerk chicken and a jerk slow cooker too.